Uh, hello, everybody. We're down here at the White House. Just give me a second. Anyway, we're down here at the White House. We are on a cold, blustery Tuesday. Or not Tuesday, geez. Thursday, I'm sorry. March 13th at 7 p.m. This is your Intrepid Live streamer, Free Man Sullivan. Uh, there's a couple of things going on here down tonight. Uh, we have the reading of the over 100,000 names of the dead who were killed in the Syrian war thus far. And then later on, we'll be having an interview with Barry over here at the Peace Vigil, which has been here every day, 24-7, 365, since 1981. So uh, we're going to be here for a few hours on this cold March day. So we're going to join the people reading the Syrian names here. Ahmed al Muslim, Ahmed Abdul Kirim al Akhras, Ahmed Samir Ahmed Al Abid from Arakak family. One hundred thousand names. Yuay Khalid Fuad Herkel from Hassan Jamil family. Abid Shakir Al Asmar, Omar Al Saf, Faris Abdul Hamid Al Hassan, Maher Al Tayyib, Mahmoud Ismail Al Khalaf Al Sayyid, Aisar Abdul Kareem Al Zaddin, Muhammad Abdul Kareem Al Zaddin, Muhammad Shaheen, Nail Nasir Mughir, Jihad Abdul Kareem. Not too bad. So they're reading uh, over the hundred, over a hundred thousand people that have been killed in the Syrian war thus far. Muhammad Khalid Karkura, Abdul Ghaffar Yasin Al Sawan. Wael Abdel Nasser Al Hamoud Al Shabi, Dia Abdel Karim, Salum Al Salum, Mahmoud Ali Al Tarabishi, Muhammad Kokash, Azam Omar Al Sahar, Muhammad Al Sayyad, Ali Al Omar, Ahmed Ahmed Mahmoud Karamish, Khalid Fawaz Al Dali. Muhammad Al Mahyu, Fatima, Jumal Jumal, Ammar Al Hussein, Muhammad Kutayba Ammar Al Kurdi, Muhammad Khalid Al Hassan, Muhammad Yusuf Al Turki, Muhammad Abu Shanab, Hassan Jamal Barkur, Muhammad Omar Haj Qasim. Ahmed Kamal Haj Qasim, Fatima Ibrahim Ismail, Yahya Hamoud Al Hassan, Yasser Al Arbash, Amran Al Qasim, Khaldun Al Qasim, Muhammad Al Hussein, Khadija Al Tarazi, Muhammad Al Musa, Abdul Rahman Jamal Al Din, Wa'il Khalid Al Halabi, Ismail Ghazi Al Dij. Kamal Osman, Muhammad Abdul Aziz Al Shari, Samir Fahmi Abbas, Jamal Mahrush, Abdul Hamid Al Musa, Bassam Mali, Ahmed Mustafa. Killed in the Syrian conflict thus far, over 100,000 people. If you want more information, go to 100,000names.com. Nouri Al Khalish, Muhammad Al Aqil, Nadim Khalaf Al Shodri, Yaman Al Halabi, Ahmed Musa, 
عبد العاطف حسين الطيب خالد احمد اليوسف معتز احمد هيثم الواوي فريح صافي رادي احمد الجلي براء ناصر عمران محمد علي زكور زابي الزابي احمد البلوز محمد البلخي علاء الدين صافية وسام المدلي صلاح محمد كوكي محمد زهير محمد طما احمد فيصل الحموي منصور عامر ابو القصاب احمد الترزي محمود حسن خالد اميري صالح قاسم Just a second while I put my gloves on, folks. Again, we're down here. We're the hundred thousand names project. Nuri Naman Al Kalash. On under. Unidentified six. Unidentified. 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 Muhammad Aqil Al Kertalak. Naim Khalaf Al Shawadri. يامن إبراهيم الحلبي أحمد موسى الشوقي عبد اللطيف حسين الطيب سهام سليك خالد أحمد اليوسف معتز أحمد دخل الله هيثم الواوي فريح صافي راضي أحمد الجنيد الجالك براء ناصر عمران محمد علي زكار زوبي جهاد الزوبي شكرية أطاط أحمد علي الحمدي البلوز محمد عيسى البيك محي الدين صفايا علاء الدين محي علاء الدين محي الدين صفايا وسام المدلل صلاح محمد كوكي محمد زهير محمود تومي حسين فؤاد عبد الواحد المختار رباح زكي الصغير أحمد فيصل الحموي منصور عامر أبو القاسب أحمد محمد سمير الترزي محمد حسان هشام خالد أمايري صلاح قاسم قادوني حسين النجم عبد الحميد ال... رامز محمود عبد الرحيم علي أحمد غصيبة إبراهيم داهم غصيبة حسن أحمد الجاسي مجسومة مروان ربيع الصاني محمد أحمد الشحادة عدنان ربيع الصاني محمود عبد الرحمن شيبان محسن حسن بشير العيسى حمود الفصفوس from the Basha family حسام الدلة مازن حسب الله عمر عارف طالب حسين سليمان الحمادي أحمد حسين الرحمون السويد محمد عدنان الخليفة محمد سالم العثمان أسامة أحمد النبي Again, we're reading from 100,000names.com, reading all the word head from Syria. Ali Ahmad, Ali Ahmad Hassan, Deeb Al Khabbaz, Yahya Ibrahim Al Khalid, Hajar Abdullah Al Mahmoud, Khalid Al Tawil, Mahmoud Humsi Al Rifai, Rania Shaghuri, Ramiz Muhildin Qasim, Muhildin Mahmoud Qasim, Zaki Ahmad Taha, Samih Sado. المرعي 
أحمد خالد أبو طربوش فايز المدني عدنان توما رولا خليل الطواشي محمود محمود الداي عبد الله الإمام طلال فايز أبو سارة نور حسين الهوى زهير عثمان أبو سارة نور الدبيبي رجب دويل سليمان محمود جيجا عبد اللطيف الحموي مصطفى بسام حامو فيصل عدنان إبراهيم خالد محمود زلالي عبد الحامد الغانم الحاج عبد الشيخ موسى عمر عبد الحميد شو عبد القادر أنجريني حسين محفوش أحمد علي الكانج ورد علي عمران عبد الغني محمود عبد الغني الشيخ جنيد عبد المجيد علي الجالك عماد الطاهة حسين أحمد حرج سمير سبحي فرج محمود عساف أحمد قشطة زينب علي ياسين العبد إياد الصمادي فريد صابو الصمادي سامي يوسف شمامة أبو جمال صافي طلال شقدور باسل عبد الكريم الشهود مصطفى السلوم حسام الدوهي سامر الشيخ بكري سامر مصطفى الكينج حسام بشير حاج إبراهيم محمد صالح الدرويش عمر عبد العزيز محمد زياد نور شامية علاء الدين عادل العارف ربيع خالد زينب طارق سلامة عمار قاسم العويد نيروز الأيوبي عبد الرحمن محمود تلجة زاهر أحمد النهر زهير مسعد الدين محمد مطر خالد جمل لافي السمرة عبد السالم حمادي محمد لافي جمل السمرة نضال رسلان محمد عابد المطيع الصالح هيثم حكمة طاهر عبد العزيز دؤي بركات أمل الجنيد الرسلان سلوى محمد الجنيد الرسلان ثناء محمد الجنيد الرسلان غفران محمد الجنيد الرسلان رغد محمد الجنيد الرسلان يمان محمد الجنيد الرسلان بتول عمر الحلو محمد موسى رحيم هيثم أحمد الرسلان عبد الرحمن أحمد الرسلان عمار نايف الساطي أسامة حسن الساطف إيمان خليفة الأحمد طارق عبيد محمد موفق إدريس عزام رادي زياد أحمد محمد الهواري إبراهيم مسلم حسان محمد البتوشي عمر سمير الجراد خالد أحمد نسرين عمار علي نسرين عبد الله السيد أحمد وليد الباشا يوسف سفيان السهيان بشار محمد عزيب قنبر محمد خلاني محمد الغزي أحمد محمد صائب محمد مراد عبد القادر عبد الرحمن غالية A little bit later in our live stream, we'll have an interview with Barry, who's been a committed activist down here at the Peace Vigil, which is right across the street from the 1500 Pennsylvania Avenue. We'll be continuing. Abu Bashir al Majhi. So as soon as the lights come on, we're going to go to the Peace Vigil.
محمد فهد كنان محمد علي نصري محمد محمد بدران أبو عبد الرحمن ياسر نورمان جاويش مجد شكري ربي باسم أبو زين عمار محمد يحيى كرداش حمدي عبد الجليل الخين عبد الله الحموي مصطفى سعيد الدين سعد الدين خلدون المغربي محمد أيوب أيوب ياسر أبو كريم ميسى نهيد محمد المهيد أحمد محمد خالد نسرين أحمد طه السيد السعدي أمير بشير خيبي آلاء الدين إبراهيم هوا طه أحمد أنيس آلاء بدر الدين الرحمة أحمد محمود الأحمد صالح علي الشيخ أحمد أنور بازنج بازنه محمد أحمد النجيب الحكيم إز عبد العزيز بخروتي مروان مطر الأحمد أحمد البارا مصري صالح حاج أحمد نسان موسى شمسي الثيوب محمد أحمد الحاج مصطفى النونو إز الدين البرخوث عبد السلام الدوش عبد الجبار محمد الدوش محمد حسني السويد آلاء الدين علاء الدين حسني كريم زين خير الدين غزول أحمد الغزول محمد نور أبو آلو خالد سلطان منار فيصل المغربي عبد الكريم خالد كشلان أحمد الدوش أحمد طارق الرغيب خالد حسني أبو ألو محمد سراجي الدين سعدي أحمد الحناش محمد نور السلطان محمد أقلا عبد الفتاح جابر المجبار وسيم نعيم الكادي فاطمة مادي كاسم إبراهيم السودي المعتصم بلال اللازكاني عثمان السويد حيان عبد الشامي محمود أحمد أبو زيد محمود كرمة محمود الخباز حامد مصطفى المرعي محمد مصطفى العاوي الصفورة هيثم فؤاد النجار رجاء زيون فاتح حامد الحسان فاطمة حامد الحسان صن فاطمة حامد الحسان صن أنف أن وليد شكر وايف أو فاحد السبهاي عوض رافعي سعدي إبراهيم الدرويش يازد مهرزي أن أنديفايدد على أسد الحسان الشكرس محمد حسني درويش فتوح أوف فامد صبحي وايف فراس عبد العزيز الجالد عبد القادر محمد الريز 
أسامة الحاج أزا. It's really cold out here, folks. It's a struggle even just to read the names. It's a struggle for me to sit here on so cold. If you look up on the top of the White House there, there's a guy walking across the road. Osama Saidi Maruf, Maruf, Iyad, Omar Shaban Bakri, Muhammad Al Gab, Al Ghadab, Ayman Abdul Salam, Sayjari, Muhammad Muhammad Saeed Muhandis. Ammar Walid Al Umar Qasas, daughter of Yahya Abbas, Muhammad Ahmed Al Sayyid, Ihab Asi, Sabir Mando, Ahmed Walid Hamadi, Satouf Ibrahim Hamadi, Yasir Abdul Jabir Al Rahmoun, Hussam Abdul Jabir Al Rahmoun, Ghuma Al Mujo. Ibrahim Al Hassan, Muhammad Hussein Al Alawi Al Ufais, Ahmed Ali Al Halwi, Ammar Nassan Haj Ahmed, Khalid Ali Al Qishlan, Zahir Ahmed Al Nahar, Inayat Abu Jato, Kassar Shnene, Bassam Mkhbat, Abdul Rahman Rahmoun, Nujud Al Jamal, أحمد عمر درويش ماجد الصغير مصطفى شريف الدعبول عبد الرحمن محمد الجمل محمد عوض سليمان الساخر محمد أحمد العراج أنس أحمد سعيد عبد الرحمن النعمان سامر شرف عمر الحنش محمد الصمادي محمود سطوف مواس آلاء سطوف مواس فايزة يوسف كريمة فاطمة الجمل انتصار ماجد يحيى مروة ماجد يحيى هدى ماجد يحيى أمل ماجد يحيى عمر عثمان الناجي عبد المولى أحمد تركي سويس محمود تركي سويس محمد علي الخالد عبد القادر محمد مزنازي هديل الناجي حسين فرج الناجي مصطفى أحمد الناجي ناصر عمر أحمد الناجي محمد عمر عثمان الناجي كمال عبد الحسيب سويس عدنان عبد الرحمن سويس زمزم موسى سويس سلمان محمد خالد النعسان الحلوم أنس فرج الماشش محمد قط اللبن لؤي قصص عمر خشني عبد الله مصباح عبد الحامد نحاس محمد يوسف عقلة سليمان عبد الحليم الصالح عبسي حسين القادة منها الحمدان الفارس الأحمد أحمد سالم الخلوف محمود أحمد المحمد موفق باسم باصري خلف الخليف بلال سمحة عبد الله عمر الشيخ وايس محمد عدنان عبد العزيز غنوم مزهر مروان العلواني زكوان مروان العلواني غزوان مروان العلواني عبد الكريم علي الصالح محمد مواس مصطفى محمد مواس شومو مواس زياد أحمد العلي الصاير إخلاص صبحي حبابة أحمد حسن المشد مشهداني أحمد حسين عمر مهند الأتيق عبد الوكيل هاشم عبد الله الأحمد فيصل هودي أمار الخطيب عبد الغني إبراهيم نظف دحرج أبو ناظر الهراري رامي خضر كدرو أحمد بكفلون 
محمد عمر هاشم هشام حلاء هاشم الأحدب رفات أسكر محمد باسم جنين حسام صدق صدقة آلاء نبيل حلمة إبراهيم فواز حلمة الفولار رفيع فاميلي الفولار تو تميمة الشلبلي دلال محمد مواس عمر الحناس أن أنتي I believe you mean it is cold out here. I give these guys a lot of credit. They've been out here. We need more credit. We can go. Ahmad Omar Al Misat, Abdul Qadir, Muhammad Miznaz, Yahya Ahmad Al Hassan, Muhammad Abdullah Rahman, Ubeida Salman, Jamal Ahmad Dugim, Muhammad Ammar Izam. عبد الله حكيم شيخ صالح مصطفى ربيع شيهان محمد الخطيب محمد مدحت نبهان ياسر عبد الله كريم كامل بكري بيتار محمد علي محمد الأخرس أحمد كلاش ديا حمام كاسر منصور الحاج عمر جوما سارور كاسم محمد سليمان أحمد محمد الحسن وليد زيدان خليل رسلان عمر نعيف حسين نديم أحمد نايف حساني أحمد محمد عبد القصاص son of عمر نايف حسن محمد خالد عبد الغفار ياسين السوان ولا عبد الناصر المحمد الشهابي ضياء عبد الكريم سلمان السلمان محمد علي الترابيشي محمد كراش عزيزة عمر السهار محمد السيد علي العمر أحمد محمد كرميش خالد فواز الدين محمد المهوى فاطمة جوما الجوما عمار الحسني محمد قتيبة عمار الكردي محمد خالد الحسان محمد يوسف التركي الحوت حسان جمال البكور محمد عمر حاج قاسم أحمد كمال حاج قاسم فاطمة إبراهيم إسماعيل يحيى حمدو الحسن ياسر البرغاش عمران عبد الأرزاق القاسم خلدون القاسم محمد الحسني خالد خديجة الترزي محمد الموسى عبد الرحمن جمال الدين ولاء خالد الحلبي إسماعيل غزي الديرجي كمال عثمان محمد عبد العزيز الشاري سمير فهمي الدباس جمال مهروش عبد الحامد غنيان الحاجي عبد الشيخ الموسى تاس رسام ملي أحمد مصطفى Again, these are the names, 100,000names.com, for more information about Syria and Syria Warhead. Nuri, Nur, Man, Al Kalish, Mahmoud, Akil, Al Khir, Al Khiratak, Nadim, Khalaf, Al Shawradli, Yamin, Ibrahim, Al Halabi, Ahmed, Musa, Al Shuki, Abdul Khalaf, Husseini, Al Tayyib. سهام سيك خالد أحمد اليوسف معاذ أحمد الدخة هيثم العواوي فرح صفري رادي أحمد الجودي الجالك 
براء نصري أرماني محمد علي زكور زينب جهاد الزوبي شكران العطا أحمد علي حامد البوز محمد إيسا الباكي محمد الدين صفايا على الدين محمد الدين صفايا we're down here at the peace vigil here. Continuous 24 hour day anti nuclear peace vigil since 1981. 1981. This has got to be the longest sit in in American history. Down here at the White House, right across the street. In wind, rain, cold, sleet, storm, snow, hail. There's been peace vigil. Oh uh, yes, we have a little light. Testing out these new features on the new Ustream software. We're broadcasting with an LG Optimus L9. On Ustream, ustre.am slash capital N, little h, little u, capital D. We're down here at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, D.C. on a clear and Brrrr. It's cold out here tonight, folks. So glad you could join us. I am cold. My tips, my fingers are cold. I'm down here. We've been having some problems uh, with the uh, park police. Um, well, you know, as usual, the Occupy thing has been going on. And uh, they're honest about uh, having blankets and whatnot down here, but we're still here and we're going to hang out until at least 9 o'clock to safeguard the vigil here. It has been going on for 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, since 1981, started by Mr. William Thomas and Concepcion. And uh, if you come to Washington, D.C. and you want to be a part of this, uh, check out Peace House on Facebook. And that'll give you more information about this project. Uh, if you want to reuse the hashtag, the hashtag is Peace Vigil. So you can go ahead and retweet that out. If you want to retweet out at Freeman Sullivan, I'd very much appreciate that as well. And we're down here across the street from the White House in Washington, D.C. On a clear and cold night. It's about 30 degrees out. And your intrepid live streamer is co ho 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 if you come and learn about what peace is all about. Um, if you'd like to learn more or like to book a space at the Peace House, we're at 1233 12th Street, or 13th Street, 1233 13th Street, Northwest in Washington, D.C. So do drop by. We're open from 10 in the morning until 6 at night, uh, Tuesday through Saturday. Uh, during the weekends, we also uh, offer uh, Food Not Bombs. We have them out. And also, uh, this Sunday, we will be having a special dinner for veterans. So bring your VA card, and uh, we'll be happy to uh, serve you a free meal. So that's some of the projects that go on down here with the Peace House sponsors. But their main focus is the Peace Vigil. And like I said, this has been here since 1981. In rain, sleep, or in any kind of weather. And we've had activists that are very much dedicated to the Peace Vigil. And uh, we're all uh, here for that purpose. Uh, part of uh, staying at the Peace House, part of my duties, requires spending some time down here. The Peace Vigil to keep maintaining it. So we have it manned and staffed. And keep in mind, this has been stayed open since 1989. There's always been somebody here. So it is quite a project. So we're going to go over and interview Barry in just a little bit. And as soon as he's supposed to leave, let's go back and listen to the names of the... Syrian war dead. There's not a whole lot of people down here tonight, it's understandable because it is freaking cold. So we'll try and stick it out as long as possible. 
الزهي سامر الشيخ بكري سامر مصطفى الكين حسام بشير حاج ابراهيم محمد صالح الدرويش عمر عبد العزيز محمد زياد نور شي... شاميه علاء الدين عادل العارف ربيع خالد زيد طارق سلامه عمار عاصم الاوي فيروز الايوبي عبد الرحمن محمد تلاجي زهير احمد الناهر Reading the names of the Syrian war dead. <coughs> We're out here in front of the White House. Abu Bashir Lejouye. Malik Al-Makhil. Oh, 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 I can barely stand Muhammad it, folks. I don't know how long I'm going to last out here. Muhammad I'm going to try and stay as long as possible. Abdul Rahman Yasser Nouman. After a windy, windy day today. Yesterday it was 70 degrees. Today it's 30. Temperature drop. حمدي عبد الجليل الكن عبد الله الحموي مصطفى سعد الدين If you like to talk with me log on to the chat I'd love to hear from you Hey UK watching yeah I got the I got the I got the gloves going trust me Yes It's cold as hell out here though UK watching Thanks for joining. Yes, Nahid Muhammad Al Mahmad. We'll try and stay out here. We've been having some trouble with the Ahmed Barclays regarding the police vigil. Ahmed and that's part of the reason why we're out here live streaming tonight. Amir Bashar Khabi Ala Teen Ibrahim Hawa Taha Ahmad Anis Ala Badr Adin Al Rahman Ahmad Mahmoud. You know, UK watching, I liked it better when we had the chat on the screen. Now you have to press a button. And get the chat, so you can't always see what people are talking or they're, you know, that's I don't know. Sometimes upgrading software isn't always such a good idea. Omar Bashir, I'm sure you'd agree. Ala Adin Ibrahim Hawa Taha Ahmed Anis. Ala Badr Adin Al Rahman Al Rahmoon Ahmed Mahmoud Al Muhammad. Yeah, I got the finger was closed on my fingers. Sheikh Ahmed Anwar Saud. Just hold. Saudi Bazinji. محمد أحمد الناج النجيب الحكيم إزا الدين برغوتي مروان مطر الأحمد أحمد البالا مصري صالح أحمد موسى شاميس SUVs are prowling all over the streets of Washington محمد أحمد الحاج مصطفى النونو Anyway, the names are being read of the Syrian war dead, in case you've just joined us. We're down here at the White House, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Came down here to safeguard the peace vigil here, make sure that it stays maintained. We had a little problem with the police last night, so that's why we're here. But there is a stream of tourists coming by, even on this cold night. I don't know if you can see them, but they're all by the fence. The wind has died down today, so it's at least bearable out here. Here, 
فاتح حامد الحسان صن فاتح حامد الحسان صن وليد شكر وايف اوف فادي صبحي عوض رافعي سعد ابراهيم الدرويش يزيد مكهارزي آلاء أسعد الحسان الشركي محمد الحسني الدرويش فيتوس أوف محمد صبحي واي إيراس عبد الجالد عبد القادر محمد الريز أسامة الحاج الزي Usama Sidi Marhuf Abu Hafiz Tusni Iyad Omar Shaban Bakri Muhammad Al Ghazim Ayman Al Salam Sayrashi Muhammad Muhammad Sayyid Muhammad Ammar Wali Al Ammar Mafsad Daughter of Yahya Abbas Muhammad Ahmed Al-Sayyid Ahab Asi You guys can see the signs here Hussam Al-Jabbar Al-Rahman Al-Muju Ibrahim Al-Hassan Muhammad Hassan Al-Awi and we have Barry. Oh, Barry took off for a second. Anyway, this has been constantly maintained since 1981. For those of you that are just joining us, we're down here in front of the White House, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, on a cold, cold night in Washington, D.C. As you can see, we're right across the street from the White House. That is a good question. Huh? What is it, huh? Yeah. I believe he does. He's really happy that you know, I can stand in for him while I took care of that. Ahmad Al Salim Al Kalouf. I would love that. Me? Muhammad Adnan Abdul Aziz Ghanou. No, he'll be here later. Zakwan Mabwan Al Alwan. Yeah, I know. He said he would be here. Zakwan Mabwan Al Alwan. Abdul Kareem Ali Salim. Muhammad Mabwan. I got me. Yeah. Well, no, there's someone else that I don't know him yet, but I'm going to meet him in a second. But, um, I, yeah, it's, it's pretty sad. I mean, like 200 people from McPherson Square get, like, 25 of them shot. Or, I don't know, Barry's here and I'm here. And Clark. Yeah, um, Barry, so that must that must really, that must be what they want to get rid of because there's an actual you know tent with a zipper underneath the car. It does get cold out here and windy. Yeah, it's, like, it's sub it's sub zero and they want the person who's going to sit here in, in the name of and love and protection of you know, all that's all that's we, we care about to freeze. Sweetheart, that would be great if you could. Yeah, they want us to take our tent down. Just go straight down 16th Street and you will run right into the White House. Yeah. You see that or not? Okay, baby. Bye. Hey, my name's Daryl. Clark. Sorry about that. I was on the phone with you. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah, that, that jacket matches this photograph. Oh, yeah, true, true. Well, I wasn't intentional, but, you know. Are you live streaming? Yeah. Want to talk to the people to, out there? Hello. 
I have done the vigil on and off for about a year and a half. My name is Daryl, and this is important. You know, um, nearly 33 years it's been here. Um, we have several puppets that have been in this house. Not one of them has come out and said, hey, what's going on? What are your concerns? Not one. So, but we're still out here. We, we're concerned. Yeah. You know, right. it's, it's important. It's, this is a really important thing. And, uh, I mean, all the people I know on my inter on the media that I use, I don't want to say social because I don't take selfies, but um, they should be here soon. Good. Good. Yeah, I don't feel like you're on the spot here. Live streams go on for on and on and on and on. Yeah, I know it's that. part of the part of the magic of live streaming, right? Yeah. <laughs> I had to stand up. I was getting too cold. Burr. I don't, I'm almost through with this wheelchair, but I like to bring it as a support device. Because um, I'm still not walking like that great. So, plus you can't have a chair here. They will tell you you can't bring a chair. Here. So, got a chair in there. Well, yeah, him. This is this is what they're saying. This is like uh, uh, grandfather's in. Yeah, um, you know Howard Zinn? Yeah. Uh, he, he said something really good about patriotism and loyalty, about, worship, about people who worship the flag, yet they, they don't really understand. They don't really understand. And so, like, they don't understand that if someone wants to express dissent and burn the flag, right. they have a right to do that. Right. Well, I know the guy who tested that case, actually. Yeah. His name's Joey, uh, I can't remember his last name, but he was with the RCP. Joey, uh, and I knew the people who got arrested with him as well. What is it? Right. Oh. Oh. Uh, that's Barry here. Barry, how long have you been at the vigil, Barry? I've been helping out for a little more than two years. Is that two years now? Every day, like almost every day. Um, whenever I'm in town, it's pretty much every day. I think I've had three days off since the beginning of December when I got back. You know, I'll give you my elevator speech. You know, this is a vigil. It's been located directly across from the White House since 1981. We're here to speak truth to power because power does not speak truth to the people. This began as an anti-nuclear weapons peace vigil, of course it still is, but it includes other things as well, like depleted uranium, which most people haven't heard about, but nuclear war doesn't always come with a mushroom cloud. The United States uses something called depleted uranium in their bunker-busting bombs and armor-piercing shells. It's against international law, but we use it anyway, and we dumped over 3,000 tons of it on Iraq by 2003. Now Iraq has one of the highest rates of birth defects in the entire world directly because of the use of that stuff. He has children being stillbirthed with no brains, cyclops eyes, limbs sticking out where they shouldn't be, no limbs, just horrible disfigurements. Now you'd think that the U.S. is using a weapon against international law and it's having these effects, you know, it's going to be affecting kids 2, 5, 10, 15 years from now. Any investigative journalist worth their salt would figure, hey, that's a scoop, right? Unfortunately, our corporate media is complicit. They are little more than the propaganda arm of the military-industrial complex. Those six corporations that control virtually everything we see on TV and read in the papers. Their job is to sell us wars. Our job as American public is to stop buying the lies. Speaking of Iraq and lies, the corporate media told us about weapons of mass destruction. There were none. The corporate media told us about an Al-Qaeda connection. Well, let's take a look at that for a second, will we? Saddam Hussein, bad guy, admittedly, one we supported for decades, was running a secular government in the Middle East. A secular government in the Middle East. Al-Qaeda hated him as much as they hated the United States. They had absolutely nothing at all to do with 9-11. I think the only person that still believes that is Sarah Palin. And Iraq posed no threat to the United States, eminent or otherwise. But those were the reasons we went to war with Iraq. Lie, 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 lie. Over 4,600 dead Americans, tens of thousands of more injured. Over 6,000. Hundreds of, well, that's Afghanistan as well. Uh, but, uh, and hundreds of thousands of Iraqis died too. The vast majority of whom were completely innocent people just trying to live their lives. You know who benefited from Iraq? Well, there's Halliburton. 
There's Lockheed Martin, there's Boeing, there's Raytheon, there's Northrop Grumman, there's GE, there's Bank of America. That's who benefits from these wars. Nobody else. Nobody else. So why do we do it? Well, we don't live in a democratic republic anymore. We live in a corptocracy. We live with a government that isn't just influenced, but it is controlled by banks, lobbies, and corporations, and the people are secondary and considered at all in the decision making. And that's the saddest fact of it all, because as long as we have a government controlled solely by men of interest, as far as money being our only motivation, well, if that continues, nothing's going to change. So we want to get our democratic republic back from this corptocracy that it's become. But that's going to be tough. Currently, we're now engaged in a global, perpetual, never-ending war on terror, they tell us. We're bombing people in countries like Yemen, Pakistan, Somalia, Sudan, countries that we have no official declaration of war with, and we are killing quite a few civilians in the process, even more than we are the bad guys. And when you do that, when you kill people, sons, what if somebody killed your daughter? or your father, or your mother, or your son. How would you feel about the country that did that? Exactly. We are increasing anti-American sentiment. We are increasing terrorism. We are increasing the threat to our national security. But the worst part about it all is that is isn't just failed foreign policy. It's the plan. Because again, war is a racket. Corporations like the ones I just mentioned make billions of dollars off it. But the key to it all is they have to keep us convinced that it's about something other than it is. It is not about winning hearts and minds. It is not about stopping terrorism. It's certainly not about spreading peace, freedom, and democracy. And it isn't protecting our national security. It's time to wake up. Let's turn off our weapons of mass deception because you're not going to get the truth from Bill O'Reilly. You're not going to get it from Anderson Cooper. And you're not going to get it from Rachel Maddow. We have to do our own research. This is the information age. If we choose to remain uninformed, it is our own fault. The truth is out there if they want it. And I tell you what, an informed public scares the status quo to death. If we truly had an informed public in this country, this town would look like Tahrir Square. There would be millions of people in the streets saying, no more, not in our name. Why are we spending hundreds of billions of dollars destroying our constitution in the process? I mean, since 9-11, we've seen the Patriot Act, the expansion of the Patriot Act, House Resolution 347, the National Defense Authorization Act, NSA spying, all of these things unconstitutional. Let's wake up, America. I mean, if we have to destroy the very document upon which we founded this country under the guise of keeping us safe, tell me, what exactly is it we're protecting? What is it we're protecting if we have to destroy our democratic republic in the process? We're protecting corporate greed and profit. Let's wake up. Let's be of, by, and for the people again, not just of the banks, by the lobbies, and for the corporations. Let's take our country back. Thanks a lot, Barry. Thanks a lot. Okay, so now you know why we're down here, folks. For those of you watching. How many people are watching? Uh, uh, about six, seven. So yeah. Where, yeah. Uh, you have, you have a yeah, U-S-T-R-E dot A-M slash capital N, little H, little U, capital D. You have a card? Uh, no. <laughs> I should have a card, too. Yeah, I know. I keep, I keep not getting one on purpose. Yeah. I don't know, accidentally on purpose. Let me go ahead and switch out the light here. Not bad for a little, uh, a little cell phone. That's so, great. Yeah. It's weird. I'm living in Crystal City now, man. And... On the train over here, there was a young green fucker standing there talking to some old guy who looked like he was a little older than me. Right? And he's going, I can't believe uh, the drone. Let me write it down for you. That's what he said. Barry, he said the words. He said the words, dude. Samir Mustafa Al King. Hassan Basha Hajj Ibrahim. Just a second here, folks. But uh, yeah, I see all kinds of uh, black and tans all the time. You know, this one guy, he's just walks by the in the morning. Yeah. And it's not for work. I mean, this guy makes his rounds. Yeah. Hey,
Who said that? That's Kashi Tiborski. I believe that was originally Zuhair Mas'ad al-Din, Muhammad Matar, Khalid Jamal Lafi al-Samra, Abdul Salam Hamdi, Muhammad Lafi Jamal al-Samra, Nidal al-Islam, Muhammad Abdul Mahati Al Saleh, Haytham Hikmat Tahir, Abdul Aziz Nuhay Barakat, Amal Al Jnaid Al Rusia Al Rislam, Salwa Muhammad Al Jnaid Al Rislam. This is a family of seven. Fana Muhammad Al Jnaid Al Rislam, Ghafran Muhammad Al Jnaid Al Rislam, Yaman Muhammad Al Jnaid Al Rislam, Batul Omar Al Hilo, Muhammad Musa Al Rabi, Haytham Ahmad Al Rislam, Abdul Rahman Ahmad Al Rislam, as you can see, the list goes on from one family, the entire family was wiped out. One more second, folks. Ammar, Naya, and Sam, and Staif. Stay out of the war. We're trying. Iman, Khalil Ahmad, Tariq Obaid, Muhammad, 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 Idris, Azam Radi Zaid, Ahmad Muhammad Al Hawari, Ibrahim Muslim, Hassan Muhammad Al Batushi, Amr Samir Al Jalal, Khalid Ahmad Nasreen, Oh yeah, I'm actually uh, I'm actually I'm gathering signatures for this. Yeah, me too. Oh, okay. So we'll be working together. Huh? You know Donnie? Yeah, yeah, I'm going yeah, tomorrow to meet him. Oh, yeah. I, um, I missed, the, missed the training last night because I had to work. Uh, but, uh, I've been collecting signatures for years and years and years for various propositions. I think I started out with Proposition 215 in, in California yeah. to legalize uh, cannabis. Uh, you know, um, they're supposed to be doing something for veterans with PSD, PTSD. On Sunday, right? Is it Sunday? Yeah, I believe so. Sunday, Sunday at the Peace House. Oh, okay. We're supposed to be serving some uh, dinner, I, I believe. Oh, I hope it's got dinner. <laughs> but at any rate, um, uh, it's okay. It's Just, really, it's, I mean, my grandfather used to play jazz in this town in the 40s and 50s. Right. He was a beatnik. Okay. And he used to grow. He used to work at the Hecht Company. In I remember the Hecht Company yeah. during the day. Yeah. And at night he played at the Bayou. Uh -huh. And he used to grow his pot right on the sidewalk in the plants that are against the building on the sidewalk. Uh -huh. He used to grow his weed right there. So yeah, it looks like uh, we're going to get it on the ballot here in the in Washington D.C. to legalize cannabis. So that's a big, really like that. great development. Uh, just uh, about a week ago, they have uh, decriminalized it to a $25 fine. I have a little bit, but I ain't worried about it. Not at this point. Yeah, I have, uh, I have like, really, I have two herniated discs, and uh, I have sciatica running down my leg. Like, oh, I understand my that. Pain level is probably about a seven or eight right now. But I'm out here. And this cold isn't making any better. All day, I work at Chipotle. I cut lettuce. Oh yeah. Onions and wash yes, dishes and Karim. feed people and play music. Well, I don't play music at work, but I can play guitar. Muhammad okay. I bust. I play up in Columbia Heights. Okay, that's a good place to bust. You know a guy named John Coca? Yes, nope. Muhammad. I don't okay. really know anybody's name up there. Okay. I used to live up there, but um, I live in Crystal City now. Okay. Land of the former military or presently military people who like to go to the Pentagon and. And do whatever, play what games they're playing, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh... By the way, folks that are watching, all the names that are being read in the background are Syrian war dead. Over 115,000 names thus far. Where is everyone? Okay, the big question of the moment is where is the bathroom located? Is, is it open? Is the bathroom that building up there? No, you gotta go to the 7-Eleven.
Okay, just, just... That's the closest one. It's past eight now. So I, I used the subway, which was about to close. It's about to close right now. Oh, okay. Just wondering. Oh, yeah, the uh, metro. I'm thinking <laughs> metro. <laughs> See, it's when you're a live streamer using the bathroom as a... Can I blow the smoke from you? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, September 9th, I Thanks. Have a breakdown. But I have light. I don't know if you know. I well, um, I was pretty like fucked up. There's a light for you. And, um, it's heated up, so. I was talking to Vic, and I heard just about this and that, and I... Muhammad Hussain al-Sawaid, ala al-Din Husni Kareem, Zain Khair al-Din, Ghazul, Ahmed al-Ghazul, Muhammad Noor Abu Alam, Khalid al-Sultan, Manar 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 al I really, I really don't think. I really don't think. For her, thanks. Hold on. So cold that the the gas and lighter to work. We are still reading. The names of 100,000 civilians killed by the Assad regime in I Syria. Didn't say I just got my shit together. And, yeah. I felt so. Uh, I felt like really, Thanks. like because you know it's like, and also Eli. Eli is a really great guy, and I feel really terrible. And like he's, I've seen him since then, and he like kind of has this weird thing going on. And I can tell he knows, and he doesn't. I don't know how to deal with it. I don't think he does. So. Muhammad Al Hanash, Muhammad Nur Al Sultan. No, I didn't know that part. What was the other part? Muhammad Al Hakla, Abdul Fat, Abdul Fat, Jabir Al Mujabir, Wasim Naim Al Qazi. Names being read in the background are 100,000 over 115,000 war dead from the Syrian civil war. First real cigarette today. Hmm. I'm going to take a look at some of the war dead here. These are from Sarah Nagasaki, Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Let me tell you something about those bombs. Unidentified. We're brought up in high school in our textbooks, history textbooks, and we're told that those bombs, although tragic, were necessary and brought a speedy end to a war and helped save American lives. Next chapter. Hold on, teach. Let's back up a little bit. Let's talk about the fact that the Russians were already invading from the north. Japan had given their intent to surrender already to the United States. They made overtures of peace to the United States through Portugal and Switzerland. The U.S. wanted unconditional surrender. Japan didn't want their emperor to step down. So because of that one issue, we decided to kill over 120,000 people. They didn't need to die in a war that was already all but over. Some other lies that we're told about, Lusitania started World War I, right? Well, two weeks prior to uh, the Lusitania being sunk, the New York Times said, if you're going to be a passenger on board this boat, beware, it is carrying munitions. So it wasn't just innocent people that they were going after. They were going after the munitions that were on that boat. Another lie we were told. The Gulf of Tonkin incident was an incident that we used to escalate Vietnam where 58,000 Americans died and hundreds of thousands of Vietnamese died, let alone, not, not even mentioning Agent Orange poisoning. Well, according to the 2003 Freedom of Information Act, the Gulf of Tonkin incident never happened. Complete fabrication. 
a lot to justify going to war with Vietnam. 58,000 dead Americans because of it. I think I already talked about Iraq, all the lies we were told about that. I think we're well aware of that. And you think we're being told the truth about this global perpetual war on terror, right? We're using surgically precise drones to only target tar terrorists, take out the terrorists throughout the world, bring peace, freedom, and democracy to the world, and protect our national security. Explain to me why we're doing the exact opposite now. Explain to me why terrorism is growing. The threat to our national security is greater than ever. Okay? Because that's a plan. It's not about spreading peace, freedom, and democracy. That's all. That's just what they want us to believe. It's not about stopping terrorism or increasing it. It's about making a ton of money for a handful of corporations at the expense of the many. Period. That's the only reason we do this. If war was not profitable, we wouldn't be doing it. It's that simple. You don't spread peace with bombs. You don't do the exact opposite of what you're trying to achieve. It does not work that way. You want to spread peace? Well, start waging peace instead of war. That's how the rest of the world look up to America again, instead of the rest of the world growing with their anti-American sentiment and hatred towards this country. And you know what? I can't entirely blame them. If you kill my family, I'd be a little bit upset at the country that did that as well. Yeah, you know what? I was sent to Somalia in 1993. I was an E4. Mustafa Sharif, I was in the 10th Mountain. Abdul Rahman, Mahmoud, Al Jamal. These people don't want us in their country. Mohammed, Al Sulaiman, Al Safar. A rifle can't be. You can't deliver democracy if you have a rifle. And I heard that someone said that if uh, you want McDonald's at, in your country, McDonald Douglas has to bomb you first. Samir Sharaf. So. Omar Al Hanash. I guess I'm preaching to the choir, but. No, 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 no. Let's talk about the Ukraine. That's in the news recently. Right, folks, i got to turn the light off because I'm running low on batteries here. We're going to have to shorten up the live stream, folks. I hate to stop it at this point, but we did pretty good on the one little battery. I don't have any more batteries. i got to order some more. So we're going to let the live stream go. We're going to hang out here. I want to save my juice for when uh, the cops do decide to move in here, which I doubt, but we'll be here. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, everybody, and we'll be back tomorrow, hopefully, and we're going to be live streaming from the White House again. So thanks for joining us. This is at Free Man Sullivan. Please retreat it out. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good evening.